Once again, it's Neymar making headlines for the wrong reasons, although he was, he was good during the game, considering he hadn't played uh, pretty much at all, apart from one half against Monaco last weekend, since his injury at the end of February. Uh, but right now, we're only looking at what happened after the game and that incident once again with him and not so much what happened on the pitch with him. Well, you've got to throw some sort of heavy punishment at him for that. because right. You don't have any empathy? You played for lost cup no, finals, no, so you got any empathy? No, I, ain't got, I don't care no. if it's a cup final or no, friendly. No, no, no. I don't care if you're playing for your, your, your local pub. Listen, he'll tell you the same. You get insulted. I'm not saying it's right, by the way, but you get insulted every time you step on the field. Right? I, I, I can tell you that for sure. Yep. And the language is uh, non-repeatable. Mm -hmm. And it can be personal. And it can be rude. And it generally is, and it's always over the top, always. However, like Eric Cantona with the Kung Fu kick, it's not wasn't as big a dive as that, you know, they dove into the crowd, it was, but it was a punch, it was a little flick out. And you, and you can't do that. You we, can't do that. We all know that. Like you, it, there's not a handbook that says, you know, you can't, you can't attack fans, but we all know as players and supposed professionals that if there's one thing you can't do, yeah. You can't go anywhere near it. You have to just ignore it and get on with it. And as Craig said, I'm with him. I'm not saying it's right, but it's part of the job. It comes with the territory. And if you can't handle it, you're going to be in trouble. And he should be in trouble. Jules, what sort of punishment are they talking about in France for this? So, oh, so probably a suspension for, for Neymar's action, maybe a fine as well, uh, PSG are yet to react on what also they could do to Neymar because they could also punish him in a, you know, in a way for, for not having the right attitude in, in a game like that. He's, he's their player, so they could also do something, uh, but we haven't heard anything yet. But it could be quite hefty. Only a few days after Neymar was banned for the next three Champions League matches for his outburst on social media, uh, towards the referee after the, uh, the, the PSG Manchester United game, where he was injured and, and only on the be uh, uh, in the stands as well, sorry. So, back-to-back, uh, -back, probably heavy bans for Neymar, both domestically and also in Europe. What's the feeling amongst the fans, Jules, regarding Neymar? Uh, have they kind of reached a limit? It's, it's, hard, it's hard to tell right now because, like I said, he's, he's only just come back. He was pretty good in that cup final. He was, he was good as well against Monaco, the, the previous game. And, and prior to the injury in February, it looked like he had changed a little bit his attitude, that we, we were not seeing all the, uh, you know, the, the, the sort of uh, disrespectful attitude that we saw in his first season in France, you know, not respecting the opposition, not respecting his own teammates, and even, even with the club as well. So it looked like after the World Cup, he sort of changed a bit and that he had, he had finally realised that everything that he was doing, all the, the antics on the field and off the field, were, were all wrong and that he had sort of matured a bit and grown up a little bit and yet last night was another disgrace and that was very much the old Neymar, not so mm. much the one that we'd seen earlier in the season, but that was not acceptable again. And again, we saw him rolling around. When, when are we going to start talking about this guy as a, about being a football player? You know, we're, we're talking about his, his Oscar winning performance again in this final. Uh, and I said it yesterday, you don't roll around like that if you're actually hot. You, you, you don't move. And then, again, off the field, punching a fan. I mean, it's just... I'm sorry, the guy, the guy has not matured clearly, needs to grow up, and, and really is what we would call a big-time Charlie. That's all he is. He thinks he's bigger than, and better than anybody else, regardless of his actions. Which is why he went to PSG. Yeah. He went to PSG to be bigger and better yep. than everybody else, because he wasn't. In, in Spain and it's kind of got out of control now the injuries haven't helped for sure and they certainly haven't helped PSG however if you were to throw a punch every time somebody insulted you a football match <laughs> I'd, I'd have been throwing 200 punches a, a, a game you just, you just can't do it and, and unfortunately you have morons that pay money and think they can say what they want and, and there's no there's no law that stops them verbally abusing you uh, and that's what this probably was However, you got to just rise above this. You got You can't. You just can't do that. And uh, you know, PSG won't probably. They'll give him a slap in the wrist, but they don't want to upset right. him anymore because they want to protect their asset.